Today we'll be learning about the Articles of Confederation. Their purpose was to establish a gov government. Their biggest problem was the weak central government was able to meet the needs of the nation. Their success was land claims large versus small states. Economic. Trade was burning. Interrupted because of the war, they no, no longer wanted to trade. The Shea civilian farmers were having their farms foreclosed on by banks, so the farmers marched to close the courts to stop foreclosure. Rebellion scared the elite. Paying army. They couldn't force states to pay for one and couldn't tax citizens. Elites decided to revise the articles but ended up writing a new constitution. Taxes. Couldn't force people to pay taxes. The judicial branch was established to resolve disputes between the states. Diplomatic. Treaty of Paris. Treaty that ended the American Revolution. Trade with Britain. Refused to leave their forts on Great Lakes. Spain wouldn't let Americans assess to the sea through North Orleans. Treaties. New Constitution gave the national government the exclusive right to make treaties with foreign power. Taxation. Couldn't request funds from the state. Government organization. The states refused to acknowledge the authority and power of central government. So they amend the articles, took 13 states to agree to any amendments. The constitution made it easier to fix problems. The federal system. Power is shared by states and national government. And to amend constitution amendments would need to be agreed upon by three-fourths of the states. Structure of government, no exec executive branch, no president, no judicial branch, no federal courts to resolve disputes for states. There were three branches, legislative, executive, and judicial. Upper house will represent the states. Great compromise, slave were counted three-fifths a person. Three-fifths compromise allowed the South to count three of every five slaves for representation numbers and would count towards a state tax based on population. Sovereignty. Authority of Confederation government came from the states. Repres representatives to the Confederation Congress were appointed by the state legislatures. Authority of Constitution belongs to we the people. No taxation without re representation. Electoral college buff for the impact of the popular will on the elections. Indirect elections of senators. Senators were also appointed by the state legislatures. Supreme Court was nominated by the president and confined by the Senate. The rat ratification of the Constitution. State conventions only needed three of 13 states to ratify to become law of the land. The compromise reached several states ratified on the condition that Bill of Rights would be added. Federalist supported Constitution, the elites of the coastal area, areas. Anti-Federalist. Opponents of the Constitution feared the power the elites would have in a strong government located away from the influence of the people, believed states would be more responsive to the needs of the people. The Federalist Papers were a series of essays written anonymous, anonymously which supported the ratification of the Constitution.